He's always hey. too quiet. Hey. Mm. We have only just arrived. Mm. All you expect is to be more filled. Mm. I saw a lot of guards on the way, and I'm surprised more of you aren't here. I need to go deal with something in my head. I'll be right back. So, this is just another part of us doing our jobs. <laughs> Can't leave the things on guarding. So you're not here for my me. hand on the, on the stone. Hmm? Unity. Unity is what makes us wolves, is it not? Did I not tell you a lone wolf die without its pack? You made yourselves a pack of wolves. Feasting together. But you, jealous, wanted more of their kill. You were not willing to share. Thus we began tearing at each other. Eating each other. This fat wolf they're wanting to do. And when they have killed the others, there will only be a few left. Too little to hunt. Too little to stand their ground and defend their territory. You are wolves, but you must not become dogs. Dogs kill each other with a menial thing. Dogs will fight each other, even if what they are fighting for it's not worth fighting for. No. You are not dogs or wolves. However, the consequences of your actions will speak louder than messages. The Order has reclassified you. You are no longer fit to be called part of them. You are back to where you were. A menial village. As such, all prospects aside from military are revoked. Consider this punishment. In addition, Mithrax's gaze has wandered from your sight. Did I not tell you you were here to prove yesterday? Now, he has wandered off. However, salvation can still be obtained. The missing report has upset those within our order. They request its presence by sundown or you will be subject to harsher treatment. And no doubt you've met my associates. Do not be alarmed, but be sure they will be working with you much more closely. Any harm, any disappearance, and the order will consider it an act of heresy. Being serious, really? And now? I need not remind you what heresy leads to. But I must say, I am disappointed. I had faith in you. I wrote letters of such praise. The Order looked upon you and thought it could find a city on a hill to shine itself upon. Apparently not. And for my failure as well as yours, I have granted heroic. I will receive reports but no longer be allowed to give them. And these reports will contain the most menial information. However, the Order still gives, and Mithrax still withholds. Fuck! They have renounced my rank of priest, but I am now a seer. And. A cultist, if you will. Someone willing to give you premonition, if necessary. Note, your tithes will still need to come in. 
However, the offerings of boons and blessings have been revoked. Fucking Christ! Those of you who already have it will not have yours nullify. However, note that any attempt to create your own or bless your own would be regarded as an act of heresy. Those found forging boons or trying to create their own fortune will be burned alive. Note that this heresy is a very big idea within our order. <laughs> As such, the order gives one last edict. Your sacrifice was not given. Thus, you will give it to the nurse. In the early evening, you will bring forth whatever minuscule offerings you have. Note Mithrax will not bless you, but this is still required. Food, livestock, grain, whatever you have, bring it. If not, consider yourself cursed of threat. Unity was what got us through our hard times. Yet in this prosperity, you tore at each other's throats, filled with glee, like noblemen fighting over the last wing of a chicken. Then they would come to swords over a menial food item when they have gorged themselves, and that there are twenty other chickens on the table. Do you want to be like the nobleman who left you out to dry? Hmm? Or should I tell you that Falkreath was nowhere to be seen during the uprising? Or during your plight with the shrews? It was Godfrey who sent saved us. I did not see him anywhere. Do you want to be like the nobles who cower behind their gods? Who simply look upon you and think less of you. Simply because they weigh more. And build fat like pigs on sloth. Was that not your plight in the beginning? That you were ignored by all those power? Was that not why I was here? To give you a voice. To cry out to a power higher than they. And yet now I see you doing the same. You tearing at each other, fighting over things that need not be fought over. You would do well to look carefully at yourselves, all of you. And one more thing, this weekly tithe will not be accepted. We did not accept tithes from those four new by the blade. We do not accept offerings that are coerced at spear points. If the money is to be delivered elsewhere, let it be delivered to the kind Mr. Falgrith, who so kindly suggested such a thing, despite the church's orders not. Let it be known. There are snakes weaving through our grass, biting at our legs. Yet we do not look down, look up, and assume that those evening have bit us when they had no power to do so. Take care not to be dissuaded. There are agents of other races here, uh, and will be tested. But keep in mind one thing. While the gaze of Mithrax no longer sees you favorably, descent into heresy will, rem will mean a rather 
forceful approach by the Order. And I need not remind you of several burns that have happened since time. And I need not remind you that the penalty for heresy is being burned at the stake or crucifixion. You have a chance to regain your honor. Find the report, bring the offering, and perhaps I can mediate between both the order and Interax. Do not hate those who have fled. When the wolf leaves the den, the other wolves are. They simply are. They do not attack the wolf as left. They simply watch him ride off into the sea. You are better than this squabbling. You are grander than this disgusting behavior. Do not disappoint us again. Or you will find yourself in front of someone much less kind. May the blue flame forgive you for your sins. That is all. I'm gonna take my my leave. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi, lad. That thing will be for Axila. You can go ask for that trinket. The blue flame guy. I don't think he can offer one now. Hi. Hi. I'll try to go find Joseph. Wondering why you didn't come with him. Mm -hmm. Have a good day, fellas. You too. So the offering she, um, later today. She left. It's mm -hmm. whatever we can bring. Yes. I guess. Bring what you can. What uh what is the sacrifice we all well. make? Hmm. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Does Max guide you? They do at the first sign of trouble. <laughs> they tear at each other's throats. I can hear them fighting with the crowd. <sighs> I trust the common folk. Close. Well, continue your tasks. Find the spices, find the flowers. Search for that damn report. Otherwise, Father. what am I gonna Father. say? What? You're right. The drow. Which one? Male. A word? I uh, know you go to church. Picked it up recently. Very well. We talking private? You are free to go. Both of you. I will speak with you, sister. Of course. Now, are they watching you, or are they watching me? Walk with Most me. Most likely you. Right, that and would be for the best. Yes, about that. We kind of can't have that happen to you right now. Why, why do you so resign to your fate? Don't we all? Aren't 
we all fate it to die one day. Hmm. Not like you, though. <laughs> so, what happens when you don't accept this tithe from on? I do not know. Mm hmm. And who do you. We will just have to wait and see. Right, and who's going to get the blame for this? <laughs> Most likely, I will be dragged by that snake just to make a point that he holds power, which mm -hmm. he does not. Dragged, flogged, killed, whatever he sees fit. You won't see anything line. fit though, and you know that because you're protected by this little garb that you have on. <laughs> oh, you assume he plays by rules. Fulgrath plays by his he own rules. He has more. I'm aware of this, but he's not going to fucking touch you. Not by rules, but out of fucking fear. For someone who lives up high in his fucking castle, he's fucking scared of your little order of wolf pups. <laughs> what happens when he is. the wolves in your pack are turned against you, Marcus? How long can a lone uh, wolf they survive? Turn against... Not very long. Right, which is why you are going to do everything in your fucking power to stop Arn from hanging. Because you know this is bullshit, and he can't pay these four fucking silver a week. And I will be very clear. If that blacksmith hangs, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to take those fucking reports, and that fucking letter that you received, I'm gonna show it to your wolves. And I will toss you to them. Do whatever the they want to you. And I don't care <laughs> who burns in the process. <laughs> my, my. I'm more like Gradian leaders than I thought. Are you sure you're not from Gradia? Or you have not no contact? You seem almost as as the elder. Needless to say, we have an issue. Oh, well, <laughs> I that's have a shame. about two silver in these coffers, which I can offer you as. A cycling payment, let's I say don't he brings want it in. Your fucking silver. What the fuck? No, I don't care. You <sighs> need to figure out a way to get it back to him after he's given it to you. Because if you don't accept it, Bulgroth will know and the money will come out of him anyway. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. That is or don't do that. Time. Talk to Fulgroth directly. Take... Do whatever the fuck you want. Just know that if he fucking hangs, you hang with him. But it won't be through Let's justice. Then. Listen, he will deliver the money here. At night, he will simply take the money and donate it to the forge as a sign of goodwill. Mm -hmm. And who's going to take the blame for it when it goes to shit? Are you going to be the one to put your hand up and say it was all you? Yes. Fantastic, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Oh, I did not run. Do you know what transcribing means as well, by the way? Transcribing. Ah, the act of maneuvering whatever it is your little symbol to something that's uh, peasant. Copying. What is that? What it means when you yes. copy a page from a book. I learned this the other day. It's when you copy a page from another book. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's more reports than what you're thinking of right now. Be careful. Marcus. <laughs> uh, perhaps, but be careful. Let's say one of those words doesn't get out, and it reaches the hands of one order. They will no doubt come question. And when they figure out it is us who have done it, if we're not discreet and you simply announce that you have suddenly gone or disinformation. Oh, let's see. They will send the flag for. They will whip the populace so they die. Then they would send in every single acolyte to the area. And let me tell you, a lot of these acolytes are soldiers. Perhaps a knight or right. And if resistance is offered, they no doubt love the little machine known as the Great Big. Mm -hmm. Now torture everyone, 
and no. everyone in this town will die, and they'll be beaten, and things are going to get a lot worse, but Marcus... <laughs> Barn dies, so fucking be it. You don't scare me. Oh. Mithrax doesn't scare me. Your wolves don't fucking scare me. You are fucking pathetic. <laughs> You're blind to both <laughs> what you see. <laughs> oh, Marcus. I'll be seeing you. Just remember what I said. Think yourself a bear. You are just a wolverine. But even a wolverine against a wolf pack can hold his own. For a while. I'm not going up against a wolf pack. I'm going up against you, Marcus. Alone, scared. Are you sure about that? Reese is afraid, just not of me. That's good. Seems like it's checking the adventure hall. Have you hey, seen the scribe go past like, No, but everyone should be cutting trees right now, so go on, grab yourself. Anyone that's an out there is. Yeah. Hey, that is real. 50 copper. Got the magic yeah. how you went Maybe on all those missions not being able to see anything. You'll be able anything. to see your way to the scribery for your lessons in the mornings. Oh, right. Uh, Mirando. Apologies about that. Ah. I forgot. The issue with... Tomorrow. First thing. Ye yes. Yes. Sorry. Mm. I, um, I, I, I spilled some ink in the scribery. It's on some of your important documentations. I'm really sorry. Can we... <sighs> Come on. Yeah, follow... Yes. Show me. I know you said I'm not allowed up to, I know, I was just trying to clean a bit more because I felt like I did a bad job this morning and knocked some over. I don't know what it says, but it looked important, so I'm just... Good morning, Marcus. Tell me it wasn't the notes for Fulgrith. I, I don't know. I can't read, remember? So you're the lad he did. Of course not. Okay, Captain. Let's get this it's chill. Shiver, yes, it? every fucking time I see her, I just get this weird thing down my spine. I hate it. Oh, 
Well, she's not so bad once you get to know her. You've trekked through a cave two days with her, that is. Ooh. You're not able to, um... Escape? Mirand, they'll have a crush. Do you have a spear training? I definitely do not have a crush. Is there spear training? Uh, I'll be down in a moment. So, you know, I heard something very interesting, Kyla. Oh, really? I heard that uh, a missive went missing, and that the Church of Mythrax is here looking for it. <clears throat> More than that, actually. See, I went to church today. And a big part of it was that everyone in that room was told to find those reports. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope they find what they're looking for. I do too, and I was I was trying to remember that word. I was trying to explain it to the priest when I was talking to him afterwards. Uh, what does it mean when you, uh... We did it the other day with those notes, those drow notes that we had. We took it from the book and put it onto another page. Ah, yes, yes. I believe I know exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. In now, your... the question is... I would say whoever... T yeah. Look, they're fucking looking, but they're out there. The wolves on the prowl. I'm thinking we make a copy we of it. destroy it. Just in case. Already spoken to Lord Godfrey. Have you? He's aware of the plot. He does not seem bothered. I think it might be best to destroy it. We might need it for evidence. An action needs to be taken. Evidence what? I don't know. What are we going to do? Go against the entire church? I have to. Did they describe what was on that missive? Maybe we can help them look for it? He just described it as reports. He also, when he thought I wasn't in the room, mentioned something about spices and flowers before the other priest shut him up. Interesting. I don't know what that means. But I don't know. I feel like we should at least have it in case we need to use it against him, if something does come of this. Hell, in case Fulgrith want me... was a Fulgrith. Do you want me to transcribe it? Make a out of it? <sighs> I don't know, because that would kind of ruin the fact that it's evidence, right? I was just thinking because I didn't know that you'd spoken to the Lord about it. I just, I feel like we should have it, or at least something that we can point to and be like, yes, this is proof of what we were saying. Hmm. Should have asked Lord Godfrey if he wanted me to bring it to... Well. Godfrey did say something quite interesting once, uh, during our meeting. Hmm. He called... Uh, he asked if I had, who I had contact with, and I said, uh, sometimes I speak with Advisor Falworth, and he said, um, quite plainly, that, uh, I should be careful when befriending snakes. Ooh. So, uh, I don't think that he trusts uh, our mutual acquaintance. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I suppose it's up to you, Yaman. If you want to burn it or hide it. Can I hide it possibly? And if so, where? I just know that people are looking for it, so... Okay. Do you have anything to pry one up with? Nope. 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 You think you can do it without chipping the floorboard itself? Well, at the very least... Yeah, maybe in the storage room. <laughs> it's all one room, Mirandel. There are two different rooms. Okay. Clearly, divided by my bookshelf. Right, right. Well, what I could do is I could move this is something. The scribery, that is the storage room. And then the floorboard yes, yes. underneath it, even if I do scratch it up a little bit. Let me have a look. Very well.
Roll a d20 chat. Okay. No, I pried it, it just it scratched to shit though, I slipped. It'll be fine if we put the box over it, surely. You're cool. Hi. <laughs> this one over here. Actually, I should probably move this one back. Chat, roll a d20. <sighs> this one's better. These floorboards are all old and rotten. It's hard to do it, but this should be fine. Safe for knowing that. I do as well. Yes. <sighs> okay. Well, I have some meetings I need to go to. Just keep it on. Meetings? Oh, you're keeping um, polite company now that advice you to go to a meeting. All right, Miller. No, let me try this again. I'm going to talk to the guard captain and have a big ol' row about some stuff. Doesn't that sound... I'm trying to be a lot more approachable, you see. I'm... I'm... I know. I'm just messing with you guys. I know. Hmm. Right, we'll have a talk. Mm-hmm. Then... And I will, um... Oh, should I spill some ink you over all your about. important documentation so that it, you know, I wouldn't be lying? You know, and make it really believable. Let me throw some ink around. Going to be over documentation, but... Come on. Let me spill some ink. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Which one? Let's see, this is... Old missive. Not long, no longer important. Not too much. That stuff is expensive. Oops. Ah. Uh... Oh, Kyla, how could you? I don't know. Bad drow, bad. Oh, no. Perfect. Bad. Well. <sighs> mm. Don't lick it out. No, it's not good. That was disgusting. That's the grossest thing I've ever seen you do. Ew. Why'd you let me do that? You have ink in your. Do you know that stuff stains? You've got a blackened tongue now. Ah. Uh, are you all bad? Get out of here. Okay. Hi. Go wash it out or something. Okay. Some water. Hi, Ben, though. Oh. Um, Mr. Oh. Right there. Mm. Hello. Hello. Ah. <laughs> Hello, uh, Mr. Kyler. Mm -hmm. You know, we recently did trade, you mm. know, uh, regarding 
uh, you know, like a a boar. The piglet, yes. How is it? Or like you know, little. Uh, well, like you know, what I what I what I returned to my uh logics, uh, it happened to be, it was dead actually, <laughs> and of course, oh, like dear. like. Uh, That's okay. Like I'm not. I'm not seeking. I, I'm not here to seek compensation. <sighs> oh, I. I just wanted to. No. When I. When I left it, it was unconscious. I thought it would have been okay oh. by the time. Huh. Here's your silver back. I wouldn't want to pull a fast one on you. Wait. No. 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 It's okay. No. 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 no it's okay. I, I was just wondering if, you know, if if you wanted to partake in if you're interested in partake in a hunting, you know. Expedition later this evening to, you know, secure another piglet, you know? I'm going with Baylor, I believe. Um, maybe. I I'm a very busy person. It would be good for the town. Yes. If I'm free, I'd love to. I had a lot of fun last time. Um, but if, if I'm not, I might not be able to make it. And if that's the case, and if you don't get one, then would you at least accept my, my payment back? Because I feel horrible. Ma'am! That is your name, yes? Yes, ma'am. Perhaps. But you're able body, you are you not? Um, somewhat. Well then, I suggest, should you want to make coin and eat a nice meal at the end of the day, take to the trees in the forests and start cutting them down with your comrades. I... If I need money, I will definitely do that. What is it? Hmm. Very well. I appreciate I you. Uh, interested in helping your king. Hmm. Less so about that. Oh well, I'm gonna go chop down some trees just uh, so I can get more strain. He's, um, oh. he's falling behind in his studies. I would hope not. Of course not. He's simply a. Uh, he believes that he's just loitering more... about in front of the larder. One would think he is a thief, Mirren. Well, I'm trying to save his skin. Understand, oh but he was with me. I apologize. I had to um, make a quick stop. But uh, mm. I will make sure that he's not unattended. Yeah. Thank you so much for you know taking me oh, care. Thank you for uh, you. taking the time to. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you uh, yes. Personal, what did I, I say? But, uh, I know what I did wrong. Oh, oh, aside from insinuating that you didn't want to work for the, the king in the king's lands. Fuck, I thought she said kin, as in... No, no, she said king. Fuck! Oh, I misheard her. Now that sounds so much worse. You should go apologize okay. quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Um, if you don't catch a, a, a baby boar, please accept the money back, because I don't want to be shafting you. Thank you. Captain? Oh my god, your hands oh, are down. Oh, Captain? <laughs> Much better. I prefer them that way. Combat what is ready, it, Kyla? Always? I was just informed that I misheard you. I thought you said kin, as in, like, family. I didn't realize you said king, as in... the lord. My apologies. I didn't... I, I didn't know. I misheard. Let's go, boys. We got patrols. You are forgiven. If okay. you want to make it up to me and make things right, then you'll take to the forests and help your comrades cut down the trees. I will. I have to speak to the captain about something, but if I'm free afterwards, I will do that. He is over there, observing their work. Brilliant. Thank you. Apologies again. Go. Do not bow before me. I guess I'll go ahead and I'm no noble. Sam. Excuse me, Godman. I'm not no. Hi. Yes. Could I ask one, one or two of you to watch the uh, mm -hmm. the scribery in the larder while me and the cook are out uh, assisting with the palisade effort? I shall do that, my friend. Ugh. I need to take a drink before this next conversation. <clears throat> Are you not the
people. I love the set that one. It really good one. The, the Royal Guard Captain's on the move. I I know. He's already had a chat with me. <laughs> Go make sure they're cutting down trees. Go watch over them. Okay. okay. Oh. Something wrong with her? Or... She's running out of town. That's concerning. Captain. I Should... guess it's best to ask, eh? Hi. Can I speak to you when you're free? Uh, you and me. I'll speak to you after this. Give me a moment. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, the blonde one is running out of Captain. town, too. Beautiful. Hello, Captain. been riled up for no reason. Well, I see people crying and running out of There's town. There's no idea that rockets, no? They're women. What do you want them to do? Be stoic. That's your job. Right? Come on. Do you think we're gonna have to learn? Hmm? Nah, hold on. I think they have a right to be upset. Ready? I'll leave. I'll leave. They're just emotional. Oh, no. I believe you should just stay here. And here we should go. Make sure they stick to cutting down trees and nothing more. Yes, Captain. Wanted to chat? Somewhere in private. Do we? I think justice was served this morning. Real justice, not the Lord's Depends justice. Depends who you ask. To you. Uh. I'm asking you, Captain. I was one of the very people that fought for Arn's life in the first place. It was going to be death. He's lucky with what he was given. You know that's just... for, for that man's life. You know it's prolonged. He can't make four silver a fucking week. I know. So what are we going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, Captain? I've already given up some of my own money to help. But I only make so much. I've informed the rest of his... Apprentices. To help him where they can. Him cutting down these trees will help him. The militia will help him. There's only so much I can do. I'm no lord here. I am led by lords. If it was my way, I'd have it different, though. What would you have done? I would have thanked him for his efforts in helping the guards... Stop a madman. But we both know that the church that really runs this place. I... I just... I'm tired of there not being actual justice anymore. That's supposed to be your job. I understand you're stuck between the bullshit lords wanting you to <laughs> cover everything and the people that you care about in the village and stuff like that. And I genuinely think you're a good man, William. But Han's a good man too. And he didn't deserve that. I... 
I just need to know that you're going to do everything you can to stop him from hanging. Everything. Above or below the law, word. I don't fucking care. But it needs to be done. Because if it doesn't... It doesn't matter what happens to anyone anymore, I will kill that fucking priest. I swear to god. I don't care what storm it brings to this city. You mark my words. If Arn hangs, that priest will fucking die by my hand. Please keep justice. Real. Justice. Do my best, lad. Thank you, Captain. If the captain was any less of a good man, Kylo would have, like, been a lot more angry. But he knows the position that the captain's in. Holy fuck, 60 of you. Everything. I've done the best I can. Large divot on this end, smaller one over here. That's the swinger too ought to do it. Push it over. Come on, cook, show us your strength. There we go. Oh. Timber! Oh. 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 It works for only two days. It worked fast, but uh. Mm. You should reward them. This is over here. Mom. Harry Potter looking. Joseph, he, he attends every day, you're saying? <laughs> I would assume so. The way he was talking about it. Like it. Mm, I think we got all the marked Shipping ones already. Them. Well, this one's on the inside of the stakes. You want to take this one down just to, so we have more room for building later? They said this one was still living and not to mess with it. Eh, whatever then. Call and go get go see the captain for your pay. Hey, Kinsman, lower it down to 
Captain? Uh, also Captain? Mm. Well, I just, you know, won a little... Are you drinking? Cold cross. On the top? No, I'm cleaning up. There's a cross. That's how it works, by the way. I want me to actually, you know, surprise, you know, so, like, no need to spread the word, anything like that, you know? Uh, however, I guess, you know, I was just looking for, like, blessings and, and good stuff. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Hey, careful, careful, careful. You should check your voice. <laughs> That's that's been like that since someone. Like <coughs> one might, might How about now? There you go. No, no. Are you sure there's any more left to cut? Seems like okay, people just... are dispersing. Looks like it's just that okay. one. Time to collect our money, man. Oh, uh, the blacksmith can cut it. It's still fresh. Skin I like. I about to be cut it down anyway. Do as you tell. Mm -hmm. More when we have the time and the supply. <coughs> it was ordered by Falgris, so I'm gonna do it anyway, but... Very well. Excuse me, Captain. You didn't inform me of this. Ah, oh, I know why. Um, forgive me for interrupting. Is this where we're supposed to get paid? No, I'll pay you in the outer courtyard line. Apologies. Pardon me. Thanks. Unfortunate, but what's your axes away? And then I already have. I guess I'm carrying. <laughs> okay. I'm passed out. I'm passed out. Oh no. Now what's wrong with him? He's passed out. Did you want me to What? Um. On. I hate you very much, Peter. What happened to our friend? No idea. Some proper example. Did you get your pay? No, oh, yeah, not yet. No, I return my much more safer. The the closer we're out there, the closer that we're out there in the damned woods, the much the more likeliness that we're either gonna get attacked by goblins or animals. Uh, I guess I'm taking God, can you tell me what happened? Uh, apparently he passed out and started muttering to himself. Oh, fantastic. What was he muttering? Do you know? I didn't really get a chance to hear it. You can see now that both nasal, both nostrils of my nose are bleeding heavily. Also, he's bleeding heavily from his nose. I see. What is he see, doing? Like, the he's bleeding from both his nose nostrils. heavily. Both my nostrils are bleeding. Good, or are they carrying like a baby? So, uh, he's going to check. He's you... going to check your Please. mouth to see if it was foaming again. It is slightly foaming. <laughs> 
what you what were you what were you going to say? When he awakens, can you have your yes, nurse or somebody come back here? I'd like to take a statement on what happened. The fuck happened to him? Rabies. Well, if you wish for payment for your stupid games, games you win stupid prizes. Ah, hello, Cody. Come on, you two. Let's fucking. Go. Where's the other one? Fucking. What is he fucking doing over there? I have no idea. He's probably fucking around his tent. Very well. I will join you in the primary shortly. You will be paid soon. Come on. Come on. Paid soon. Captain Rollett would be with you shortly. <laughs> Thank you for your oh, I, gave, I, I gave those two their uh... Where's Meandel? Uh, I don't know, I think he's getting his payment. <laughs> Alright, I'll be getting my payment here very, very soon. I've just gotta check up on his- on Marcus's dumbass again. What happened to him? Excuse me. You're going to sit here, lay here, and rest again. Until Mirando comes in with some more information. Oh, here, this is even better. Here you are. Sets a bucket down. You will puke in there, but when the time is right and when your body feels like it, you are going to stay in here, and if you leave without my consent, we are going to have problems. So, how are you doing, Kyla? I'm okay. Just kind of tired. <laughs> Alright. What's the situation, Summer? The same types of symptoms that I saw from this morning for when he came- for when he came him that- when he looked this dizzy and such. This- this happened the second time, believe it or not, and I feel like what you're about to say is what I'm going to be hearing familiarly from any of the other vill villagers that came up to me with this information, so spill it out what happened. Um, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I came over to see what happened to Marcus, and when he became conscious, I wanted to take his statement as to what happened to him. But if you know what happened to him, that would save me a lot of trouble. Oh no, I know exactly what happened to him. Someone, or he or one of his servants, one of his followers, probably came up with a way to find more of those damned herbs for him to smoke, and as you can see, it's taking a toll on him greatly. I knew for a fact that I should never have let him out without having some sort of built to trust. Now I can't trust him anymore with this shit. Are you saying he's addicted to some sort of herb? Yep, big time. What's it called? Oh, you can see me sweating in that sleep, but also that my nose is so bleeding. 